thank you so much for your time today. Good evening, sir. Okay, great. Okay, so first of all, uh, where exactly you got right now in terms of your master's and what exactly you are waiting for in terms of other entrances? Um, sir, I, I already took admission in Gokhale. Great. So, uh, this will begin from 1st August. Right. And uh, uh, my COAT score isn't good enough to get into JNU, but I'm mm -hmm. expecting to sit in BHU, DTU, Pondicherry and all of that. Great. But okay. since I got Gokhale, so I'll be right. with that. Okay. I guess you were also waiting for uh, Madras school but, in waiting list, right? Right, right. So even even couple of students are also there in MSc in wait list. And let's hope that once the results of CUET are out, uh, in case you are able to get it into MSc, then I guess you will be in dilemma whether to now shift from Gokhale to MSc or not. No, sir. I, I won't shift, sir. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Okay. So, uh, Priyanka, when exactly did you start your preparation in terms now is the time I'll dedicate myself for my entrance preparation? Was it the final year, fifth semester or fourth semester, second year? So, when was it? So, I actually started my preparation like in the beginning of my third year. Oh. But mm -hmm. initially, I was not efficient. Like, I made many mistakes. Like, I used to refer to too many books. So, as mm -hmm. a result, solve the questions right. also I, I couldn't balance well between my college studies and entrance preparation so my serious preparation started from hmm. last year october that is october 20 okay. yes. that that was very honest of you because because when you share these points now it helps other students who watch this particular session that they need to have a proper timetable and be effective right from day one whenever it's possible like right yes sir this is something that i want to sh uh, share that like if you're very clear with your goals then please start early be serious early. from the beginning itself because this is a mistake that i made and i, I regret that that that's completely fine because look uh, you have like i i was having another interview i mentioned gokhale was there in your dream list like you would have four to five institutes right and at the end of the day, when you are able to make it in any of those, uh, that still gives you pretty much much confidence as well, motivation going forward. And like you mentioned, that even if uh, MSc comes in, then there won't be that much uh, change in your decision of shifting from Go Play, right? Right, great. So uh, the other point was that many students, and it has been for years, ki they, they are in a position where they feel that college pressure is too much. At the same time, I need to prepare for my entrance. How will I cope up in my final year, right? You also highlighted that point that it is pretty tough at, at times. And that is obvious as well, right? So how exactly was the scenario in your case? And uh, yeah. As I told, I was not very good uh, with coping up because I think, uh, let me be very honest, because the college I studied in, the teachers were not at all helpful. So uh, even the college preparation also, we had to do entirely by ourselves. Right. So, um, so but a CUAT syllabus is very much uh, like similar to the undergrad syllabus one. Right. So if you're focused, then you can prepare like simultaneously both of them. Right. So okay. it's not that difficult. Right, right. Because uh, I have been hearing this part. So that's the reason I wanted to ask all the students who have passed out that what was their experience. Look, in case of uh, CVT also, this year, uh, because of Delhi School of Economics coming in, uh, the paper, the syllabus remained the same, right? But there were some quant, quant questions uh, which played a crucial role, right? So many of the students, I guess, are, are uh, pretty upset with the fact that uh, so many, not five to ten questions of quant came in, which they were not exactly expecting at times, right? Yes, sir. So I would say from my experience, the paper pattern has changed because of yeah. DS. Yeah. Because uh, not just uh, quant questions were more, but microeconomics questions were very less in comparison to last year. Like there were a lot of Indian economic questions, like exactly. current economic questions uh -huh. related. And yes, uh, maths questions were also more and they were uh, difficult than last year, not very uh, easy kind of questions. 
Correct. So, so the bar had to go up because of the school coming yeah. in. That that in fact we were speaking uh, right when it was announced that DSC would come in. So I, I shared with all, all of you, of course, but with other aspirants as well. That this year CUT won't be the same like previous year, right? So this was something that we all expected. Uh, now uh, coming to the fact that how the structure that we offered you starting from basic level to intermediate to advanced how did that help you in terms of your preparation so sir initially when i started i didn't plan to enroll myself in any coaching right but then what happened was whenever i came across any doubt there was no one to help me as i told you my college teachers were right so uh, after like Six months of my preparation, I decided that, like after my graduation exam got over, I decided that I need to enroll myself in a coaching. So right. that's when I came across one of Ma'am's video, I guess, in YouTube, right. and I decided uh, to enroll myself. So when I uh, uh, was given access to the student portal, then uh, this basic videos and intermediate videos were the best thing. I mean. Uh, if if a student covers all the videos, then then by the end of the intermediate videos, one is like a well prepared, very well prepared for the exam. So I think the best thing about the course was this three level course structure. Yeah. And apart from that, I think uh, the doubt solving system, the uh, like we were given access to the doubt solving group. So right. like whenever to like face any doubt I was to post it immediately and Absolutely. my doubts were uh, either solved by ma'am or my uh, friends there. Yes, right. but I think uh, that was very very helpful. Great great so this is something uh, we tend to highlight and share with students that uh, preparing for entrance is not only about preparing for entrance okay because once you are there at your master's institute college if concepts are not clear, basics are not clear, you will fall in the very first semester. So this is this is uh, why we we came up with that, and it was uh, completely Ma'am's idea to make sure that each and every student, irrespective of whether he or she is from Delhi University, Calcutta University, or Bombay, Bangalore, anywhere, all our students should be at par in terms of their preparation. The rest is their efforts also at the end. Key. Uh, how much extra you're putting in, right? So, but we need to make sure that the playing field is level for each of our students. Okay. Uh, so, so Priyanka, what after this in terms of, like, I know many, many students have like a top MNC uh, is the one of the most important goals, but what about you exactly? No, sir, uh, I never targeted to get into like corporate placements. Like I always wanted to go uh, in the field of research or either prepare for government jobs. So that's why I never targeted DAC also. Like JNU was my first preference because I wanted okay. to remain in academics only. Right. So, yeah, so right now I don't have very clear vision, but I have two options like either research, teaching, or government right. jobs. Great, great. Because uh, uh, Either it's always like majority will find going for a good placement and working at an MNC. Uh, but the other one that we like even more is the student going further, either doing PhD or research work. Basically means going deeper and deeper into economics and making sure that they are even well averse with the subject. So uh, that's a great, brilliant option, right? So something uh, you have already shared about in terms of uh, what mistake at times you would have done, right? So, but I guess when you are determined, like you said, October onwards, you were clear in your mind, now I, ha now I have to prepare, okay? So that is also something very positive that you know when is a point you need to be serious, right? Had it been a bit late, then things would have been a bit tougher, right? So what you have to suggest for students, like when exactly they need to start? So I, uh, as I said that, uh, I think if you start preparing from a year before, I think uh, it's enough. I mean, it's okay. Right. So if you are very much clear from the very beginning that I want to like uh, get into this institute, then uh, start uh, as early as possible because uh, then it gets complicated because uh, throughout your journey, you, you experience many things and you'll have time to rectify them. Absolutely. So, uh, so as early as possible 
right great great okay uh, so when are you planning to leave for pune or have you reached uh, uh sir i'll leave for pune i think on 26 yeah on 26 26 okay great great i guess uh, dhruv is uh, is also there at gip i had a interview with him today so yeah and couple of more students they are planning to reach by 25th or something so <laughs> i guess you will have yeah. some no uh, document verification on 28th and class 28th. and class first correct 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 okay uh, just one final thing uh, again uh, for future aspirants uh, again in terms of suggestions okay i i am being very emphasis emphasizing on the fact that this particular session can help as many students as possible so if there is anything you want to share with these aspirants ki ha this is the approach you should do do past years or mock papers or do so twice or thrice revisions or have a deadline something of that sort that you would like to share so the first thing that i want to focus would be like the solve as many questions as possible like yes. i remember uh, like finish the revision very early because the coach uh, the syllabus is the undergrad syllabus only so right. if you are if you have finished your undergrad syllabus then i think it's not a difficult task so uh, like start solving questions as early as possible like so, uh, and i think for gokhale particularly uh, the the uh, hyderabad university bhu pondicherry papers are very much relevant right, uh, so, right. and apart from that ma'am keeps on giving us question bank uh, right. so that that is very helpful so focus more on solving question because even if you study if you to keep studying hmm. the same thing and you don't solve questions are you not confident and speed right. also matters sir so if you don't right. solve enough questions uh, you'll not have that speed in the exams okay great because speed the point you mention about speed uh, this is important because couple of students uh, missed out on certain questions and then ultimately going out of the cut off because of the speed even right. i did mistakes uh -huh. uh, like in cuet uh, i had, there were many questions uh, that i mm -hmm. could do but mm -hmm. uh, due to lack of time like i couldn't attempt them so yeah so the different student actually had different uh, issues at time some had technical issues in case of cuet i guess uh, even the center issues were there that they were not able to reach on time and they were different but at the end of the day nta doesn't count for that so what happened has happened and they won't uh, give much okay so one final question i wanted to ask uh, something related to the tests that we usually have on weekends right the weekly tests right so i wanted your take on the fact ki how, how good it is how positive or motivating it is or how uh, negative it is when it comes to you share the weekly test marks in the group with your peers on week weekends about your any of your tests like if you are there in the top 10 on the top rank the rank which we used to share right so if you are there on the ranking it's good but what exactly it impacts so how is this entire thing for you sir i uh, uh, i would say that it did not have any negative impact on me because right. even if i could not get any rank or even if i could hmm. not score well uh like the competition is with myself like i used to focus on making myself better so i think uh, that motivated me to perform better next time so i think uh, it didn't really have an uh, uh, negative impact on me like someone scored better than me so uh, no that i did not have that thing in my Great. it motivated me to perform better and the uh, tests were very relevant even the standard was higher than the actual exam exactly so that, right. so we always try to kind of uh, keep a bar bit higher as per the actual exam so jab aap normal test mein baitho to you already feel scared theek hai koi nahi test mein aap scared ho that's okay but when the actual exam comes in you feel more comfortable because you have attempted a question which was of a higher degree right 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 great great thank you so much priyanka thank you for your time and uh, wish you best of luck for all your future endeavors and one last thing uh, which i tell all my students from the past as well whenever anything you guys need in terms of reference guidance just feel free to drop a whatsapp and uh, of course most likely i'll be the one who will be answering so we'll be more than happy to help you guys 
Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bianca. Take care. Uh, and one more thing, yeah, sir. Yeah, please. Think, uh, the, whatever I could do, like the entire thing would not have been possible without ma'am's guidance. So I think she's the first one, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm thankful to her so much. I mean, okay. I made the right decision. So, uh, so that's so sweet. That that's so sweet and generous of you. Uh, and I'll definitely share. And of course, she will watch the interview herself and she'll be more than happy because she tries to connect with all her students. Hannah. Okay. Okay. So, so she also expect the same from all the students. When students like you appreciate and uh, give so much compliment to her, it actually motivates her even more. Right? Thank you, Brenda. Thank you so much.